Welcome to Awesome Care. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn about SSH connection with PXSSH. PXSSH is a Python module based on PXPECT for establishing SSH connections. So let's see how to log in and run a command on remote SSH server. We are going to import get pass module, uh, which will prompt the host, user, and password to establish the connection. And then we are going to run some commands on our remote server. I already imported uh, from pxpec import px SSH. Now I'm going to import get pass. And now I will have a try and accept block. So this will be inside try. We are going to get the connection by calling pxssh dot pxssh Now we are going to read a house name and a username. So this would be our host name by calling input. And here we are going to pass in from the user for our host name. And now for the username, input prompt for username. Now we are going to uh, prompt the user for the password and get the password back. Password by calling get pass, get pass, and prompt for password. Now we are going to log in uh, by calling the login and pass in uh, the username, uh, the local host, the username, and the password. Oh, type connection, uh, connection dot login connection dot login and our host name and username and password we need to add e for the host name and after login we are going to uh, run a command by calling connection send line. So this will be connection dot send line. So it'll be ls dash l command.
and now we are going to match the prompt by connection dot prompt and print everything before the prompt uh, so this will be inside our print function and we are going to call connection dot before I will just uh, uh, catch the exception if there is a uh, one and uh, then we are going to run our script so in our accept block accept px ssh dot exception uh, px ssh as ex and we are going to print the message cannot log in if there is a login error and then we are going to print the exception uh, passing into print function and convert it into string and our reception. Now we can run our code. And here we can see the prompt for hostname. I will use a localhost and the username and the password and here is the I put up the command executed on the remote server but I'm just using on my localhost so you can use the remote uh, server also to keep on learning please subscribe to my channel I'll send code like my video keep supporting me and thank you for watching.